The film opens in an interrogation room. Hutch Mansell is bruised and bloodied, carrying a stray cat and feeding it tuna before lighting a cigarette. The detectives ask him who he is. He says he is nobody. Going back a few days, Hutch is shown to live a routine lifestyle, from his morning exercise to his daily commute to his dead-end job, and his constant failure to catch the garbage truck. He is married to real estate agent Becca, and they have two kids, Blake and Sammy. Hutch and Becca have been distant for a while, and Blake doesn't think much of his father. One night, as Hutch is checking in on his kids, he looks in Blake's room and sees his son gesture towards downstairs, as there's been a break-in. Hutch quietly goes downstairs to find a couple, Lewis and Lupita, trying to raid the place. Lupita spots Hutch and aims her gun at him, and he calmly tells her to take the money from the cash bowl in the kitchen. The two also demand Hutch's watch and wedding ring, but he only lets them take the watch. As they try to escape, Blake tackles Lewis and locks him in a hold. Lupita approaches them with the gun, and Hutch appears to get ready to swing at her with a golf club, but he stops himself and tells Blake to let Lewis go. He does, and Lewis punches him in the face before he and Lupita flee. The cops arrive later, with Hutch feeling guilty for what happened, and both Blake and the responding officer criticizing Hutch for not acting. At work, Hutch's boss and father-in-law, Eddie, talks to him about the incident, and Becca's brother, Charlie, gives Hutch a gun to protect himself. Hutch later talks to his brother, Harry, over the radio, since he's in hiding. He tells Harry that he knew not to take down the robbers because he could see that Lupita's gun was unloaded. Hutch then goes to visit his retired FBI agent father, David, who notes that he doesn't look well. Despite trying to continue going about his life, Hutch can't shake the feeling of not doing anything for his family when they needed him. When Sammy mentions her kitty cat bracelet is missing, Hutch figured the robbers took it, and he sets off on a bus. He goes to David's place as he sleeps to get his FBI badge and gun, but David sees him and Hutch just says he has to take care of something. Remembering the tattoo on Lupita's wrist, Hutch goes to several tattoo parlors to ask around until he finds a shady looking place. The men in there try to intimidate Hutch until one of them notices a tattoo on his wrist that looks like a pair of cards. The man thanks Hutch for his service and gets the hell out of there. The tattoo artist realizes Hutch means business and he points him in the direction of who got the tattoo. Hutch finds Lewis and Lupita's apartment and breaks in. He pistol whips Lewis and scares them into giving up the watch, but they don't have Sammy's bracelet. Hutch then sees that the two are parents to a sick baby and they beg him to leave. Hutch goes out in the rain and angrily punches a brick wall. Hutch then gets on the bus heading home. A group of men enter after drunkenly crashing their car, and they begin to harass other riders, including a lone young woman. Hutch has the driver step out so he can take care of them. He begins a brawl with the men, who get a few good hits on him, but Hutch starts to wipe the floor with them. They pull a knife on him and stab him in the side, but he keeps going and stabs a few of them before he is thrown out of the window. Hutch manages to get back on his feet and re-enter the bus to resume the brawl. One of the men, Teddy, grabs Hutch's gun and tries to shoot him when the rest of his friends are down, only for Hutch to grab a pole off the bus, disarm Teddy, and then bludgeon him with the pole until he cracks his windpipe. Teddy starts to suffocate, but Hutch does a tracheotomy to keep him breathing. He then walks home to find Becca still awake. She sees him beaten and knows what he's been getting into, as she knows who Hutch used to be. As she patches up his stab wounds, he notes to her that they haven't been close for so long, and it's been bothering him. At a nightclub in town, mobster Yulian Kuznetsov shows up, does a dance, and meets with some other associates over the security of their shared fortune called the Abshak. The others doubt Yulian's capability due to his penchant for dancing and other oddities, but Yulian proves he's not to be messed with when he grabs the handle of a broken martini glass and slashes an Abshak shareholder in the face for looking at him wrong, and then slashing his throat. The others toast to his death because it means more money for them. Yulian is then called to the hospital, where he finds Teddy, his younger brother, in his condition. The doctors tell him that he has suffered permanent brain damage. He violently interrogates Teddy's buddies over what happened to him and who is responsible. Hutch gets a call from Harry, who tells him that he has drawn Yulian's attention and that he is dangerous. He tells Hutch to visit a man called the Barber for information on Yulian. Hutch goes downtown and finds that the barber was expecting him. He gives Hutch a file on Yulian, which stresses how violent he is, and that the Obshack guards millions of dollars in mob money. Yulian has his henchmen dig up whatever dirt she can on Hutch. She blackmails her informant in the FBI with dirty pictures of him until he goes down into the archives and finds highly classified info on Dutch. When the henchwoman sees that Hutch was once a ruthless killer, she quits and leaves Yulian to his own devices. He then orders every man under him to go after Hutch and bring him in alive. As the Mansells prepare to have dinner, he spots three cars arriving together and park across the street from his house. He knows danger is imminent, 
so he has Becca and the kids hide in a panic room in the basement. He then kills the lights as the gunmen enter the house. Hutch proceeds to fight them, shooting and stabbing most of them to death until he is subdued. The gunmen throw him into the trunk and prepare to bring him back to Yulian. However, Hutch regains consciousness in the trunk and pops it open. When he realizes he can't just roll out, he finds a fire extinguisher and opens the back seat, spraying the car and causing the gunmen to crash. Hutch crawls out of the back and finds one of Yulian's men still alive but pinned under the car and bleeding out. As he dies, Hutch tells the man that he used to be an auditor, basically the kind of hitman everyone knows to fear. As Hutch runs back home, he calls David and warns him to wash himself. He then frees his family from the panic room, covering Sammy's eyes so she won't see the slew of dead bodies in the house. Hutch then sends Becca and the kids away to somewhere safe, and she asks him to make sure he returns to them. Hutch gathers the bodies of the gunman, plus one who is just barely still alive, and brings them to the basement. He starts talking about his past, and mentions the last job he had where he had to kill a man who was embezzling money, but he pleaded for his life and Hutch knew he was genuinely remorseful for his actions, so he let him go. He later tracked the man down and saw that he was happily married with two kids. Hutch admitted to being jealous, and this is what led him to retire and settle down. He then douses the place in kerosene and sets the whole house ablaze as he leaves to take care of more business. Hutch brings a bag of gold bars to Eddie and offers to buy the place. Charlie is not happy because he thinks it will leave him out of a job, and he tries to attack Dutch, only to get socked in the gut. Eddie accepts the payment, and Hutch starts to rearrange the place and set up booby traps all over. He then locates the Obshack and kills all the guards in the place before burning all of Yulian's money. Meanwhile, two of Yulian's goons go to the retirement home where Hutch left David. They try to get him as he's sleeping, but David was prepared and blasts one goon with a shotgun before suffocating the other one. Hutch goes to Yulian's nightclub and has a meal there. The gunmen surround Hutch until he reveals that he has a Claymore mine strapped to his finger just in case. Yulian has them leave to talk to Hutch, where he reveals to the mob boss that he destroyed everything he has. Yulian flips out upon learning the Obshack is gone. Hutch leaves, and Yulian and his men pursue. Hutch leads them on a high-speed chase through the streets, killing several men before managing to make it back to the warehouse. The villains reach the warehouse as well and begin firing at Hutch. He is then surprised by both Harry and David, who came to help Dutch. They shoot, stab, and blow up multiple goons getting them to step over the booby traps, such as a mechanism that fires bars to impale the henchmen, or another that blows them up. The three are then left with Yulian, who vows to get Hutch's whole family. Hutch then grabs the mine and tapes it to the bulletproof glass window. He starts running towards Yulian and pulls the pin, blasting Yulian against the wall and killing him. Hutch thanks Harry and David for their help and has them leave just as the cops arrive. He then finds the cat and takes it with him. Cut back to Hutch during interrogation, where he still insists that he is just a nobody. The two then receive phone calls, where nothing is heard or stated, but they are forced to let Hutch go. Three months later, Hutch and Becca are looking at a new house. The real estate agent then gets a phone call for Hutch. He answers it, and while nothing is heard again, it's implied that it's somebody still after Hutch. He and Becca then ask if the house has a basement, 